Hey guys, Adrian Green here. And today I wanted to address a question that we get a lot from our buyers of, can you submit multiple offers at the same time? Now this comes from both investor buyers as well as primary residence buyers. So today we'll really dive into what our options are when you like two houses that are on the market at the same time and what we can do to help you there. Now I post a ton here on the YouTube channel about buying houses. So please make sure to thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to the channel as well so that you are alerted when my next video comes out. So uh, when a buyer comes to us and says, hey, we want, I want to submit an offer on multiple houses at the same time. Can I do that? The first question that I'm going to ask you or my agents are going to ask you is if all of the offers that you submit are accepted, are you able and willing to move forward with the purchase of all of them at the same time? So if you like house A, B, and C, and you submit houses on an A, B, and C, and all offers on houses A, B, and C are accepted, will you buy all houses A, B, and C? Practically, we have many clients who have bought multiple properties at the same time. I have done it personally, and I like doing that. The lender that I work with here in town likes when clients do that. I find it's easier than buying them consecutively one after the other. You do the loan paperwork all at once as long as you're using the same lender and they can process it all at once. There's the possibility you might save a little bit on fees with that. And it's just an easier process to buy multiple at the same time. Now, so it is a valid option, you know, especially on the investment side, not so much on the primary residence side, right? Of buying multiple at the same time. And why do we have this requirement that if you are going to submit multiple offers, you have to be willing to go forward on all of them. When you are making an offer in a house, it needs to be a legitimate offer. There is a chance the seller will accept that offer, not counter, and then you will be in a legally binding contract. Now you can withdraw an offer at any time if it is no longer an offer that you want to have out there. We do have an op opportunity in this area with our state uh, paperwork that we can withdraw an offer, but as long as it is outstanding, you need to be able to honor that contract or that offer if it is accepted. You may find realtors who do not know this or who may tell you that oh, well, there's ways out of the contract. We have an inspection period. There are valid reasons you can cancel. Um, there may be, you know, a get out of jail free card, but it may also be the case that you have a seller who's going to push the issue, who's going to hold you to your contract. If you try to use that inspection contingency to get out and you haven't had a home inspection, they may sue you for specific performance of that contract. It's not common, but it does happen. And, um, so I want you to be aware that that is an option. And regardless of the legal potential consequences to get out of the contract, we also believe it is unethical to submit a contract that you do not intend to execute. It could affect our relationships with other agents in the area if we have clients doing that. So we as a team do not submit offers that our clients are not 100% planning on executing and staying in and fulfilling might be the word. So. That's why we say you have to be able to buy everything if you're putting in multiple offers. So then let's talk about when it's a no, when it's like, Hey, I want one house and house a or house B would work for me. I love them both, but I'm concerned that if I make an offer on house a and I lose it, house B is going to be gone before I can make an offer in house B. Um, that happens. And so one reason that it can happen is maybe both houses have an offer deadline and that, you know, with the deadline, if you submitted to house A by the time you hear back, you know, you're not going to meet the deadline for house B. That is something that can happen. And even if there is no deadline, you can just worry that while you're dealing, waiting to hear from house A that you're not going to hear house, about house B. So what we can do in these situations is we can communicate as much as we can with the listing agent and based on the specific situation, develop the best plan of action. If it is a situation with multiple offers and an offer deadline, we can first ask the listing agent, is there any chance the seller will accept an offer prior to the deadline? You know, could we submit an offer so strong that they would do that? And maybe that's the choice, or maybe, you know, they say, nope, there's nothing on God's green earth that's going to get this house to accept an offer before 2 PM on Monday. Well, then maybe we go to the other house and say, Hey, will you, give us a response prior to 2 p.m. on Monday, and we can kind of deal with the different timelines 
and figure out a good plan of action with which to go for first. And the house that has um, is house number two, right? The one that you want to pursue second. We can also ask that listing agent and say, explain the situation and say, if you receive another offer, can you let us know and we can have something prepped and ready to send over you to you quickly? So, you know, we can work with the situation as much. Now, a couple things I want you to know is we cannot control these situations entirely because the listing agent and the seller is a major part of that equation and we obviously can't control them. So there is some variability there. We do the best we can. And so we, we try and work with it. We can minimize the challenges with this and we are aware of this and have had it happen before. Okay, so if you are looking to buy a house in the Chattanooga area for an investment or for a primary residence, all my contact information is below. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.